Hi everybody, my name is Laura Quigley and I'm a project geophysicist with Sequent. And in today's short video, I'm going to show you how you can embellish your color bar with an Oasis montage. So here you see we have a default color bar on the left, but we also have the options to do different customized color bars. So we can use percentile, uh, we have an option called custom, and we also have an option called exact interval. And I'm going to show you how to use those today. So you don't always have to stick with the standard color bar. So in Oasis Montage, I have a map of my magnetic data with the default distribution of colors. So to change that, we can use the color legend bar tool. So this is where we go to display the color bar on our map. And then under the more section, we have options here in the size definition to locate the title, for example, or change the size of the text. And then under annotations, we do have the options down here, the various options I talked about on that previous slide to change how the colors are distributed. So by default, it's at color break. Um, if we want to look at percentiles versus values, we can click on percentiles. So I can choose to do percentiles at a color break or at a custom interval, so maybe every 10%. So click OK. OK, so now we have 10% markers here on the side. So the other way you can customize your color bar is to use fine and coarse intervals. So I'll just, first of all, I'll change the label size. So to make it a bit bigger, I'll move it up to four. And then over in annotations, I'll go back to values. And I'm going to use custom interval here of 100. So every 100 nanoteslas, I, I'd like to have a tick or we, a solid line. And then we all have the option here for a fine interval. So this is just some division of this coarse interval. So say 25 nanoteslas could be a fine interval, or you do have the option to have none. So if I click OK, you can see here now that we've shown every 100 nanoteslas with a slightly larger text, and every 25 nanoteslas is our fine interval, which is a bit smaller text. So the other way that you can customize your color bar is to use a text file. So if you want to see the color breaks at exactly certain values, we call that exact values. So under annotations, exact intervals, I've entered here a text file that I've used to make my exact intervals. Okay, so this is what that custom interval text file looks like. And click OK. Okay, so I hope you found this video useful and you have some idea of how you can embellish your color bar. And oftentimes it does look more polished for certain projects when you display the annotation that best represents your data or for features that you'd like to show.